And down there is our auto farm. You guys actually saw me build that, but not get something that's currently growing in there. So let me, I'm gonna I'm just, I'm gonna just die. <laughs> What is up, niche community? It's MCNinja38 here to bring you another video, and guys, I am here with episode 3 of the Steven Universe Let's Play. And if you look at my mini map, I have traveled over 21,000 blocks just to find one thing. Let me pick up my little travel bed. Let's see if I can do it like this. Come on, come on. Come on. I gotta be looking at it now. There we go. Okay, got it. <laughs> but look at this over here. If you go, like, look, look at my inventory. I came across some more galaxy warps and a lot of villages. And by a lot, I mean a lot. But if you look over here, you can see pink through those leaves. <laughs> so let's go down over here. Up on the lily pad. Nice. Swim our way over here just because I don't feel like walking more. <laughs> the lily pad was destroyed in the making of this entire thing. Now let's see if there's a natural entrance or if we gotta break our way through. It doesn't seem like there's a natural entrance yet. Maybe it's trying to stay kind of to how the series introduced the fountain and you have to break your way in because I think I'm already back around to where I started. Alright, so guys, after taking flint and steel to this place to kind of reveal it more, I found what I am looking for. This stuff right here. It, it's a... Uh, Healing Tears is what it should be called. Here's a Healing Tears bucket. This is the actual liquid. So if I were to find the source and scoop it up with a bucket, I could take it with me, which appears to be right here. The only problem is I don't have iron on me here. So I'm going to have to... I set a waypoint, as you can see. Big purple. I'm, I mean, not purple, but pink, right in the middle. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go all the way back to my base. Come all the way back here and grab it. And I'm just going to be done with that. Okay, guys, I got the bucket. And I'm going to put some stuff away. I'm going to put these cracked gems. And actually, let me grab, grab the cracked peridots and amethyst. And put them in here as well. So, um, now what we need to do, oh, also let's, um, actually let's set up a little personal fountain of our own using the pillar quartz blocks. It's just gonna be a little small tiny fountain just for reviving gems. Yep, just a basic fountain. Only purpose for it is to um, just have the healing liquid. So I thought let's just make this simple, not too hard. And uh, once I get done with that, we'll get to say hello to all of these broken gems. Okay guys, so there's a bunch of things I noticed. Throughout this entire episode, I I just realized my microphone wasn't in place because of the last thing I did with uh, my computer. It wasn't recording a video. It was actually watching a show. And, but, so, you guys got, like, a weird angle of audio. I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so... We're we're back over here at the freaking fountain 
it is about to get dark. And now, we are ready. Yes! Is there more sources, or is that all gonna disappear? It looks like that's like the only source of the healing tears. So now we've got to go back again, or if by some miracle I could find this little thing's warp pad, that would be nice. I've got a whistle on me from one of the galaxy warps that I have also passed on my way here. I bet you if we even do find it, it'd be jank. Ah, there it is, underwater. Okay. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's see if it'll work. <laughs> it works! Oh my god! Galaxy Warp right here, and it works. So, let's go home. Didn't show the beam, probably because it was submerged. So, we must climb to the top of our fountain using our building blocks. But for now, let's sleep. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay. So yeah, I didn't make it look pretty or anything just because it's going to need to heal the cracked gems so let's just go ahead and build up to the top okay let's do it like this we're gonna be one below it shift okay that stops it from spreading hmm I do this now. Will it spread out? Yes! Nice! Okay. Let's introduce our new friends. I think I'm gonna go ahead. This is all the stuff that I had before I ventured out. Like, this is all of the items I put away to venture out. And. Yeah, that, 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 that's a lot, so a lot of this is mainly warp pad building stuff, like the quartz and uh, the quartz pillars, stairs, that kind of stuff that go with these. Galaxy Warp can teleport you between different warps in different dimensions, and these are used, the regular warp cores are used for regular, like, like the warps within each specific dimension. So like your o like your regular warps in the overworld. Like if you build a regular warp in the overworld, you can, you know, access all your warps in the overworld. And right now we have three vill three villages. An unknown location we just teleported from, which is the uh healing fountain. That thing was jank, so I'm not going back there. I'm just Stick with this, and uh, over here we have our galaxy warp, which will teleport teleport us to our nether fortress and back home, respectively. And then this addition, I still need to work on getting the uh, little boundary up so we don't like fall off the edge, you know. But this is the spiral staircase. Like I said, it's gonna have um, everything built. And down there is our auto farm. You guys actually saw me build that, but not get something that's currently growing in there. So let me, um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just die. <laughs> so if we go down here, so much has probably happened since I've last looked inside of it. Let, let's see our resources. <laughs> whole stack of iron plus some, and whole stack of diamond plus some. And with the stuff, 
basically I, I built a spiral staircase so that if I came to the bottom level, like I jumped down like that, I don't have to run all the way to the village to get back up. I'll have to run to the village and go all the way over to its warp pad. Well, let's see where is that at? Over there. So there's the village. Our little village by us. And if we go over here a little bit, I think... Yep, there's the warp pad for the village. So that we could just boop boop between. That's actually village one on the warp pad list. So, now, a moment of truth. Well, actually, let's put all these uh, diamonds away. Another, oh, and look at this. Look, look, look. So, before you saw the effect on me, but. Just proof. And. As soon as you hop out, it stops regening you. Okay. So add two diamonds there. And some gold wherever the gold is currently. I think it's still just sitting over in here. Yeah. And, uh. So, yeah. Let's get ready to meet all of our new gems. We should probably grab a gem Death, so we can make them our own because you can't do that with a command staff. Commander staff, commander staff just allows you to control the ones you already own. Move that there so we can have all of our potatoes up here. And let's grab these broken gems. So we have a jasper, an amethyst, one, two, three, four. Uh, Paradots, two business, and two lapis lazuli. Now I'm actually gonna save one lapis for Stewie and one bismuth for Stewie. Um, as for the paradots, I could actually go ahead and split those up too. But the jasper, you know, I not only found the jasper, but I did all of this work, so I feel like. If I'm going to be... Uh, you know what? I'll save him the Amethyst. I'll go ahead and put the Amethyst back so he can have the Amethyst. I'll keep the Jasper. Because, I mean, all these rubies are also mine. And they just spawn around the thing, so... He'll be able to get four rubies. Okay, so you guys are going to meet... Some more new gem. Let's see. Oh! It instantly... Okay. Okay. So that's how it works. So... Basically, if you find a cracked gem, you just throw it in the healing, and it fixes itself, and you get brand new unspawned gemstones. So we're going to place these down. Like that. Oh, it's a square dot. <laughs> I got a square dot. <laughs> Okay, and a regular paradox. Alright, and then we have Jasper. We have Bismuth. Oh, they all automatically mine because I healed them? Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Lapis has sunglasses on. Okay, so I guess we can. Here, I want. You We're all back in stay here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So basically, how they give the gems different like voices is um they uh change the speed of the different lines that they kind of took from the actual show and that it's I guess it's random or maybe it has to do with their deficiencies or whatever I, I am not 100% sure but there is something amazing about one of these gems except so, actually there's something amazing about two of these gems the other ones are alright Jasper's just a fighting gem and Peridot can tell you 
what can grow where, basically. Are they all inside the healing? <laughs> they are. Oh, it's just biggest Jasper inside the healing fountain. Okay, so actually, let's not showcase the one that I grabbed the stuff for yet. Let's showcase the coolest one. Look at you, Lazuli. So as you as you can see, she appears to have what is water wings. And if you guys don't know, that's actually canon to the show. Like the lapis lazuli gem can make wings out of water and actually use them to fly. Yeah. But because of that, it's kind of hard to. Well. All right, so I fixed that now. So if I do yeah. this again, I won't get kicked from my own server for flying. And we can, even if if we wanted to, we could come up here and land up on the top floor right here. Easy peasy. Yeah. And and we could easily. Drop down here. Okay, shift. So we dismount. All right. So I saved one of them for Dewey's well. Bismuth, what are you doing? Come here. That's a dangerous place. Okay. Listen. Shoot. That did not feel good. Okay. So actually, Bismuth was the other one I need. I wanted to show you guys because bismuth, bismuth is something. Let me get back to the top where we have a safe platform. All right. Okay. So if I drop bismuth down and a right clicker, She can automatically smelt anything you're holding. So, no more need for coal. So, see these really, really weak boots? These really, really, really weak boots? If I right click her with these. Oh, no. I think I gotta. We're back in business! Hmm. We're back in business. Oh, now she's holding We're them. We're back in business. Maybe. Okay, I know it definitely works for these. So, weapons, easy peasy. Works. But, yep, I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, then don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't, also, don't forget to check out everyone in the description below. And don't forget, if you're new to any of our channels, to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hiya!